Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the International Coins and Paper channel. Got another coin from, from the uh, United Kingdom for you. This one right here is the three pence coin and it happens to be dated 1956. So this is one of the older three pence coins uh, that I have in my collection. You might have seen other videos on this channel with some three pence coins looking like that. So that's a more uh, well, I guess that one's an older run, but this one would be a more modern one. But still, we've got a change in design between these two right here. Uh, so the coin on the right was made from 54 until 70. Its value is 3 pence, uh, which is 1 80th of a uh, London sterling dollar, I believe, a LSD. I'm not sure of the abbreviation of that. Its metal content is nickel brass. It has a pretty hefty weight to it of 6.8 grams and a diameter of 21.8 millimeters. Now the shape of it uh, kind of differentiates itself from most other coins. It is a Dodge Tagnagel coin, uh, meaning that it is a 12-sided coin. Now the reverse, which you're looking at right here, uh, features the Tudor Port Portalis, Porcilius, uh, and side change with crowns above, uh, dividing the value and the date below. So you've got that uh, the chains that are in the middle right there, and there's some significance to that uh, for the United Kingdom. Not too sure about the uh, importance of that, but I've seen that uh, design quite uh, frequently um, when looking at United Kingdom imagery. Uh, so that's the reverse of the coin. The obverse is a little bit easier for me to explain. Uh, we see this portrait right here. So this is uh, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. She's facing the right. Uh, she's got a wreath around uh, her, her head. Uh, a little bit different there. Most of the images that I see are her with a crown on, so a little bit different to change it up there. As far as the mintages go for this particular year, uh, you might have one of these coins in front of you and be wondering the mintage. So the mintage uh, for 1956 is uh, 36,801,600 coins that were produced. Uh, that's higher than the years following it. The years following it, the mintage kind of drops off. In 57, there were 24 million. In 58, there were 20 million. In 59, there were 28 million. So 36 million, pretty high. A little bit uh, that you might not know about the three pence coin. There was a silver version, however, this is the uh, nickel and brass version right here. The nickel brass was made from uh, 47 all the way to 70. Uh, the silver uh, version was made prior to that. Uh, so uh, 1816 to 1919, it was 92.5% silver. And then from 1920 until 1946, there was a 50% silver version. Uh, so the older coins have a little bit of a more value to them. If you have one of these uh, silver three pence coin, that's going to be worth more uh, just based on the melt value alone, as well as the fact that those mintages are going to be lower, uh, increasing the collector to value right there, as well as the age makes it older, increasing the value as well. So these coins all came out before the decimal day. Decimal day occurred in 1971. Uh, there were 240 pence uh, in one sterling dollar, 12 pence made a uh, shilling, and 20 shillings made a pound. Uh, values less than a pound were usually written in terms of shilling and pence. For example, 42 pence would have been 3 shilling and 6 pence, pronounced 3 and 6. Uh, values of less than a shilling were simply written in terms of pence. For example, 8 pence would be 8D. So that's a little bit about how the uh, pre-decimal works. Um, hopefully you found that a little bit interesting. Now, if you're into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. As you guys know, that does help a little bit. All right, thanks everyone. Best of luck coin collecting, enjoy.